we're gonna do a quick little test of the uh, Marshall 410 combo uh, vintage JCM 800. Now this combo has had a few modifications. I've uh, spent a lot of years uh, building tube amps. I wanted, I love tube amps so much. I wanted to learn everything about them, and I built a lot of tube amps. Now Marshall, classic old vintage Marshalls. Uh, Generally, I know a lot of people for collector's items don't want them touched, but uh, this was my own personal thing and I didn't want to change it into another amp. I just wanted to tweak a couple of things. Basically, put a master post-phase and post phase inverter master volume on it so you could do a couple of things on it that you can't like take the normal channel and crank it up and it make which is pretty much the same circuit as a plexi and then the jcm 800 just gives a little more preamp overdrive this amp has a normal biased first stage in the normal section and so it makes it a lot more useful what you can do that way is you can, uh, especially with the master volume in the back, you can put the, because these are loud amps. I mean, they are so, even with a 112 speaker in it, they are so loud. Uh, so having a post phase inverse master volume, you can bring the master volume in the back is on halfway straight up. Everything's on straight up on the controls now, except a little of the treble and the presence. These are pretty bright amps. So, uh, channel the normal channel with the uh, master volume basically almost all the way up because I've got the main master volume set halfway so it's not shaking the roof it's not going to damage yours you can overdrive the plays of it it's like a plexi on full roar without uh, ear bleeding <laughs> you can turn it now if you hit it with the boost pedal then you've got your whole other thing here just a little extra gain in the preamp uh, because of the normal channel, the way I wanted the normal channel to have a normal bias on that first tube. That gives it a little hotter. 
which still cleans up the way I configured it. Cleans up, sounds just like a classic Marshall JCM 800, but you can also clean it up halfway. <laughs> JCM 800, you can clean them up nicely. I wasn't trying to make this into a metal amp, something it's not. It's a JCM 800 with a couple of little tweaks on it. And of course, nothing on the front. Only that one of the speaker outs is used as a master volume, post phase inverter master volume. So you can still use the input speaker. If you want to use a 412 cab, you would have to replace your speaker in there or you would uh, run a Y cable. <laughs> like what Eddie did, uh, since these amps do not have a effects loop, but like what he did run out of the back, I've got a uh, hot plate, which you can take the signal from the main speaker out, either run a dummy load or uh, split it into, so you can run into a delay unit and then out into another powered cab or something. I've got a really crummy little uh, old power cabinet over here. <laughs> into a uh, taking the signal out of the actual speaker out and then running a line level into a delay and then powering that <laughs> Just a straight, crummy old delay unit, uh, kind of a tape emulation. It's not a tape unit, just, uh, with just, a, just a couple repeats. I'm, I'm not bothered. Well, I could be. Okay, I could play it right.
So that's the idea between this Marshall JCM 800 4010 cab. Uh, it does have a few modifications on there. Uh, totally stock except for in the back uh, a, a uh, volume for the overall master volume. That thing was loud, especially since you're adding some additional power at half volume. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how people played those. I, that's why even with the plexis, I don't know how you stand in a room with a 100-watt plexi. That's one of the reasons I believe that uh, Eddie Van Halen originally used the Variac. You turn down the voltage on it, it softens it. It gets a, he liked the tone of it, but also that's how he set his stage volume. He, you know, without blowing everybody ways, he would turn it down. That would reduce the volume a little. Often, and it turned out it gave him a little bit of that brown sound, softening some of the high highs on that thing. So uh, there you go. That's that's uh, the little the amp that's for sale right now. 